vlog how are you you look great today so last week i was like in my car musing on sort of how resistant i realized i was to routine and then this week i'm happy to report i stuck it out i didn't give up i have stuck to my new schedule and routine for two weeks now and it's actually going like really well like i like it <laughs> who is she okay i gotta go to work day today i kept thinking man i really look like shit <laughs> man i really look tired what is going on i felt like i've been looking so cute why am i looking so rough bitch i forgot to put on mascara <laughs> which is fine but i just didn't realize that i forgot to put it on it's just it's too late to do it now i mean work's over in 25 minutes and then i'm going to the gym so <laughs> Desk tour. Desk tour. Mouse. What do you say? You nasty dog. I'm gonna do a little desk tour. I have to show you guys something so freaking cute. Hold on. Okay, so, um, Chris got a 3D printer, and the first thing that he made was a trinket for my desk. <laughs> It's so cute. It's the first thing that he made before he made anything for himself. It's a little dog. Look at it. His name is Bean. His nose is a little messed up. There's a learning curve. Turns out it's not just like press a button and it prints. You have to like change a lot of settings and get things right. His nose is a little fucked up, but he's perfect. Look at him. Look at Bean. So he lives on my desk. He's so cute. And yes, he looks like Mouse. He looks like you. Okay. I need to do some work. I need to do a little bit more work. Then we'll be done. Let's go. Okay, story time. So I was just in the dry sauna at the gym and a couple minutes after I got in there, uh, this lady like ran in from the pool. She was wearing like her bathing suit. She was soaking wet. Her little feet were splashing around quack, 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 while she ran in. And she like went, ran over into the corner of the sauna and she like sat down and she was like breathing super hard, making all these noises. She sits down and she like covers her face. No, no, no. She lays down on her back. She brings her knees to her chest and gets into like the fetal position. She covers her face with her hands and she starts making like grunting and like sighing and like heavy breathing sounds. She was like, <sighs> Like, the kinds of sounds that people make 
whenever they want you to know that they just had a really hard workout. It was just so funny though because she kept like sitting up and really like making a scene being very dramatic like she would lay down and then she would sit up and be like <sighs> and then she would sit, lay back down and she would cover her face and she was like <sighs> <laughs> so she sits there and she's doing that and I sort of am like okay girl and it was just me and her in there so I don't know if it was like more or less weird that I was the only other one there um but anyway, so she does that. And the reason it was weird that she did that was because she didn't stop doing it. I was in there for 20 minutes and she did it the entire time. I was like, okay, like your cool down period, girl, it's over. Like you're good. And then like this grandma came in and she sat down for a second and I glanced over and the grandma was just giving her crazy side eye. <laughs> But yeah, I was in there for 20 minutes. This bitch is in there the entire time making a scene. Good for her. Little drama. Anyway. <laughs> I am absolutely dying right now. I just am trying to wake up. Oh my God. I just had such a long meeting and it was so boring. And then I'm like trying to get work done. And I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. Oh my God. Then like the nice thing about my new job is I don't talk on the phone all the time anymore so it's like nice because it's way less social so it's way less draining in that way but the learning curve is so high i'm absorbing so much new information like every minute so i've been just like really extra tired <sighs> adjusting i like it it's good but man my brain feels like it's being stretched in every direction <laughs> I'm like exhausted by the end of every day. <sighs> mm. <sighs> oh my god, it feels good to be out here. I feel like a zombie. Okay, I'm using my phone as my light because the other lights in my car just look very horrible <laughs> and scary. I was going to tell you about this jacket that I'm wearing, which now that I think of it, I do need to turn on my light to show you the jacket. I didn't really think this through. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm turning it on, but just for a second, and then we're going back to this. So it's like a silky, it's like a silky jacket and it has like NASA patches and stuff on it and it says Adler Planetarium and it's really soft and really comfy. 
So whenever I was like 20, 21, I worked at Adler Planetarium in Chicago, which was just a really fun job. Honestly, I have a lot of stories from that job. But anyway, so whenever we were training, these were the jackets that we wore to show that we were like in training. And then once you got through training, you would turn in your jacket and you would get like your official jacket, which was this blue like flight jacket looking thing. Um, they were like pretty cool for as far as uniforms go. But so on the last day of training, when everyone was turning them in, um, I didn't turn mine in. I just stole it. <laughs> And I have no regrets whatsoever. I love this jacket so, so much. I highly recommend stealing uniforms when you like them. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. But it's just really paid off over the years. Like, I love this jacket so much. It's so soft and so comfy. And I kind of forgot about it. It's been in my car for a really long time and my back seat just has like a ton of stuff in it. But I was sitting in the coffee shop and I was freezing cold and I was like, wait, I know that I have that jacket in my car. So I went out and got it and now it's like this beautiful warm hug. It's really wrinkled, but I was really happy to find it. Okay, bye. Yeah, so I passed the fuck out last night. <laughs> I fell asleep watching TV and I like don't even remember going to bed. I was so out. But yeah, that's pretty much how I have set up my like Monday through Friday around my nine to five job. It has been working super well. And then on the weekends, the first weekend that I was doing it, I just left it open and I actually got like really grumpy and like despondent and so then the weekend after that I actually did schedule myself some time it was like a lot looser than it is during the week but I did end up like scheduling my day in a similar way and it actually really helped and I liked it a lot but so I'm just gonna like tweak the schedule as needed and overall I'm just really surprised that I've taken so well to it. I mean, I've really never been able to stick to a schedule and I've never really liked it. It's always kind of stressed me out, but I guess I'm just kind of at a calmer place in my life, so it's kind of nice to have everything in its place. But I think that one reason that it is working out so well and that I took to it so easily is I have heard that you should pair like new situations with new behaviors basically and so I started doing this new schedule and like new routine the day that I started my new job and so now I've just associated like okay as soon as I started my new job I started this new schedule and I did it every day and at first it was a little bit stressful like I made that video last week talking about some sort of feelings that were coming up for me during that first week but then after that it's been like really smooth sailing and I think that that's like the hack is just pairing those two things together this like new behavior with this new situation of like the new job um I think that was like the winning combination you know anyway yeah that's my week thanks for watching